Meanwhile, Korea's best science and technology policy institute has entered into partnership with Uganda National Council of Science and Technology to support innovation. The partnership has resulted in the implementation of K Innovation Development Assistance Program. One of the challenges Uganda is currently trying to address is translating research results into products that can go on the market but also solutions to human challenges. The country is trying to harness science, technology and innovation plus information and communication technology to steer economic growth and development. Science and Technology Policy Institute of Korea has entered into partnership with Uganda National Council for Science and Technology to support Uganda's innovation policy. Now is an innovation area, so uh, you know, based on our experience, we'd like to share it with the, our Uganda partners. The partnership has resulted into K Innovation Development Assistance Program. So agriculture is one area of focus. Another one is renewable energy. Yes, we are working on some projects to use wind wind energy to produce power. We also have projects on use of biomass, vegetation, and you can use it to produce, for example, biogas. Focus will also be put on technologies for water provision for both crop and livestock to help boost farmers' incomes. Livestock, you also need to have water during your growth. There are losses in terms of production of milk and also losses when on the farms when there is a drought. But also water for consumption. Uganda is urbanizing very fast and we need safe, clean water, especially in the urban, as well as rural areas, for example, gravity water schemes. Uganda National Council for Science and Technology describes Korea's support as timely since the country is trying to embrace ICT and innovation to achieve economic growth and development. Bella Masangano and Adia Nakuti for UBC News. And the 2019 June semester examination 